Hello and welcome to the Any Art Netty Gaming channel. Now this is part 10 of my series on the new Pokemon Snap and we're going to go straight into the Lumina area in the cave. Now this I've found is the most difficult one to do. So this is a bit of animation before we meet the Lumina Pokemon. You've got literally one or two seconds to catch this frig pot. There he is, and that's Steelix if you've seen him there. That's the evolved version of Onyx, I believe, isn't it? So basically, it is going to give you a heads up with the scanner where to throw the apples and the orbs. But we've got two new areas coming up in this as well and, and it's got the last area in this video as well so see where that scan is there keep throwing apples he's gonna pop out of that really quickly once he pops out throw orbs at him and just like all the other Lumina area Pokemon when he lights up see the scan there he's gonna pop his head out of there throw orbs in throw apples in Hello. Throw an orb at him as soon as you can and he's gone. <laughs> so that was my first go and as soon as he pops his head out you throw orbs at him he's gonna light up and that's when he's ready to photograph. Anything before that and it won't register as a photo basically so. On this bit you're gonna be looking down either side it's going to show you which side he's going to come out with with that scan there on the left so I think this is the first time I did it so I didn't have a clue what was going on but I tried it and tried it again so you throw the side that it's showing the scan that does nothing much apart from maybe tempt him throwing apples down the sides which will go in to the level again the second time and you'll be able to see it but whichever side it's telling you that that scans on throw the apples down there and orbs as well both help but it's orbs that you need when you need to light him up so there it is again and by then I think I'd been a bit too late so there's one more chance near the end there's kind of a bit where we'll fast forward past it because there's not much at all that happens but once you get to level two there's a few more pokemon around so we're just gonna fast forward here <laughs> So we're back again and there is a Lumina a Crystal Bloom. I keep saying that. <laughs> There's a Crystal Bloom here. That's probably to try and tempt him out again, but it doesn't do much good unless you've already thrown Lumina orbs at him. So there we go. There's the scanner going again. And you can see when he's going to come out, it kind of like there's an earthquake. That kind of effect happens. So yeah, this is quite a difficult one. It's only really easy when you know how. Really. But I think it's such a shame that we're so near the end, but there you go, nothing registered. Well damn. So we're going to go straight in again on that same level and I'm armed with the knowledge here that you have to be very quick. You have to throw, there it goes, so there's the earthquake and he goes straight, straight on love. disappeared for a while again then until the scanner goes so no, I don't know why I'm throwing apples there I really ah, there we go so where is he up there I'm gonna scan that in I'm gonna throw apples and orbs into there 
and you see that earthquake sensation then he's gone right over to the left side there so I'm throwing apples prematurely into that you need to wait till the there we go the scan there and then he's gonna pop his head out of there and then throw orbs at him and he's lit up and that's what you need for the photograph and once you've got that one brilliant so I've got like two there in that thumbnail didn't they two or three preferably is full body or facing you but you've got a few more chances here of getting him what I suggest is you've got the two thumb, thumb controls the left and the right if you use both together it speeds it up a bit with the direction so that may that may help you with actually all of the luminate areas especially those dirty moths in the volcano so we're gonna throw Lumina orbs and apples down there and out he comes and he just skedaddles off again then so scanner going off again there we go we're on that side now throw your apples throw your orbs in earthquake boom there he goes again he's off he's off like a dirty shirt there we go again wait there he is and he's not lit up that time so you gotta throw orbs at him very quick So we're going to fast forward again here because there's not much going on again. So we've got that crystal bloom in sight there. So it's not long until we see another earthquake again. And we've got Steelix maybe ready to come out he's very shy <laughs> here we go so scanner going off again on the right there there he is he's poking his head out there you go, that opportunity again he just about lit up then so scanner going off again maybe or is that the last chance i think that's your last opportunity there So we've got an area here which I'm going to leave a bit of a mystery because it's relevant to the story and I don't want to give away much of the story because I'd rather people play the game and find that out because it's quite a cool storyline. So we'll leave that there. But Professor, I need to go to the toilet. I don't want to go to another area. Whoops. So, we unlocked the beach the night time a while back by doing one of the levels in the cave in the last video. So this is the blushing beach of a night and this is level one. So there's some brand new Pokemon in this, which would be cool to see. And they do behave differently of a night as well, you see. You got the boxer there. Rocky Bull Bower, the Pokemon world. And this whole bunch of and I didn't notice him actually that crab brawler on the on there. But those Pokemon, those put those butterflies look really good actually in front of the moon. The executors are fast asleep. I think I did try the flute on them, but they weren't waking up. There's a brand new one, Zangoose. I know him off uh, Pokemon Go. There might be someone on that island over there. There's a new Pokemon in this bush here. <laughs> so you like that Lumina orb there, and throw an apple in as well, otherwise otherwise it won't come out it's being shy 
There's a new one again. They're very friendly, actually. They eat apples as well, so... They're all around the course, and they will take apples off you. And when they do eat one, they light up as well. The heads light up. You'll see it when you do it. So... Got anyone else new here? That was a shadow on the butterflies. There is a diversion here as well, but we're going to go on one route and then go on the other in the next go. So we're going to take this diversion here first off. I was very pleased to see who was on the other bit of the route. It was really cool because it's one of my other favourite Pokemon, so it's awesome. But we'll see her in a minute. So we've got Cool Solar there with his mate. They're not really doing much with the orbs, are they? But rocking back and forth there, like a rocking chair. Zangu's fast asleep over there. You got the little Aloha Hoi blossoms there, having a dance. Looking gorgeous as ever. Anyone else? <laughs> Gonna come round to the beach now where usually the Pikachus and Raichus are and they're having a surf but we've got a few other other ones now. We've got the Rocky Bull Bower again. Two of them. Now then, see that? Do you remember the spade in the day? That is actually, it was an Easter egg for one of a, is it called an Easter egg? That is actually a Pokemon and it's a sandcastle but it's like a ghost. You'll see him in a minute. He's going to scare the living crap out of that octopus. <coughs> Excuse me. There's some Finians there having a munch. They are going to move out the way when they see what happens next. So, there we go. He thought he was quite happy there to be playing. But he shoved off when you throw an orb at him. If you throw an apple at the sandcastle in front of him, he darts like hell. He's terrified of that. You, you, I think I've done it actually on the next go because it didn't happen then. <laughs> and you're thinking, what the hell are you going on about? You'll see it. If you're already familiar with that Pokemon, you'll know what I mean. It's a ghost sandcastle Pokemon. Let's have a look what we've got. Crabula is a new one. Zapdos at level 1. In K. The old one was fine at that one. Corsola. No, for the old one. Octillery. No. Nothing much there. Let's have another go at that one. Have another stab. So we're going to go the other way now. See if we can find anything. Oh, I got stopped in my tracks there by a crab. Tried to see if I could take a group photo of the butterflies, but not really. It didn't work out any better really, but I thought maybe with that moon that it might be a nice shot. But try to get a bit closer to that crab roller there. Get a few extra points for that one. The blushing beach, I don't know the reference for that actually. Does anybody know why it's called blushing? Usually it's a reference to a Pokemon, isn't it, with a few of them, with the areas, but the only thing I can figure is those little hula dancers, because they blush a little bit, but that's the only conclusion I've come to on that. So, fast asleep again, executors. Oh, I was trying to wake him up, but wasn't having it at all. Bit mean of me, wasn't it? Is the snake going to come out? Maybe you throw an apple in. There, it's gonna try again. There we are. There she is. That's another new one. Let's 
so we go, if I remember rightly, we're going to go the other way now. We're going to go across the diversion. We're going to go the other way. Straight on, love. Straight on. There we go. So we've got a Raichu fast asleep there. Keep throwing apples at him and eventually he'll turn round and sleep on his other side. Seems very cruel to do that. There you go. So he's gone to sleep on the other side. There's no waking him, him up. So, who have we got here? There's Octillery and Superior having a fight there. And he's brazing, and that's worth a lot of points, that is. Now, if you throw apples at that jellyfish there, it, it didn't do it, did it? It's not doing it. <laughs> I tried again with the... There we go. So he sprays a load of ink in the air there. Anyone on that island? No. Now a bit further back, where that bush was, where the snake come out of, there's an island a bit further away. There is a Pokemon on that island, and if you spot her, she goes swimming, and she ends up on one of them islands there, on the alternate route. And she's an opera singer. That's one to look out for. And I thought I'd captured it, but it appears that I have not. I lost a bit of footage and somewhere it's ended up on a different drive. I couldn't find it. But take my word for it. <laughs> look out for that little Pokemon there. Take the diversion and she'll be singing her art out like Sarah Brightman on one of the islands. But I'll do a follow-up to this at some point, a part 11, but I kind of wanted to leave this series dormant for a while and hopefully maybe get some views and maybe come back to it at some point and put everything that I missed in a video. But I'll come back to that again and I'll show you. And you'll go, who do you mean Sarah Brightman? And if you know already, you know. See him? He's absolutely terrified of that. That's what I meant. That's one bit we're caught up on. So, yeah, you throw an apple at that sandcastle boy. He legs it across the beach. He's terrified. See so, yeah, it? Opera singer. Look out for her. Brilliant Pokemon. Very beautiful. He's like, what have I done? I'm not that scary. Let's have a look at, at those photos then. Brawler, I got a bit nearer. Nah. <laughs> Sandy Gas, scary boy. That's a better one. It's a bit nearer. The last one I had is back, didn't I? So that's a brand new one. The four there. Right, you. That's a lot better. Yay. The three. Inky. Inky. There. Octillery. No, nope, the old one was better with the ink in the air. Wingle. Not an improvement. Clampurl is a brand newy. Drift Blim is a new one again. And where to we heading now? This is the very last level, is the Ruins of Remembrance. Now, at the end of this, I'm going to do two walkthroughs of this, basically. One without the orbs and one with. And at the end of the one with, I'm going to leave a bit of a mystery to it because there's a very special Lumina Pokemon and I do not want to give that away. It's already been given away probably on a million other YouTube channels, <laughs> be that in thumbnails or be that in anything else. But I want you to watch it and then go, oh, I wonder who that Lumina Pokemon is. And it just seems a bit of a shame to kind of ruin it and, well, this is it and, you know, and give it away without you playing it, so. Yeah, there's the first crystal boom that you encounter on this last level anyway. But we're going to come back to that and go in again and be throwing them around. And these little 
grass girls are going to react to that. So they're floating around there. There's another one just hidden there. Just tucked away behind there. So the scanner's going off again. There we go. So it's for that. Hmm. I really, really love these dogs here that they've got. I really, I want one as a pet because it just looks like if you're into the band Slayer, you want that as a pet. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. You turn around quicker than I did at that point and there's one of them dogs looking down. Is it called Houndoom? That boy anyway. I love him. He's a lovely dog. Here yeah, boy. He just looks like Slayer. He just suits. He'd suit Slayer. He would. Kerry King's dog, right there. <laughs> oh. Love him. There's quite a lot of them around this level. So here we go. We're gonna go into this bit here. And this is the eventually the bit. I don't want to give away any of the story, but there's a big story to this, and I'm not going to tell you any of that. Spoil sport or what? I don't care. I, don't, I, I really don't want to give it away. So there we go. I'm going to go down into there, scan a few of these bits and bobs in, and it's an array of. Crystal blooms and orbs that is going to unlock certain bits, make certain Pokemon move out the way so you can get at orbs and then eventually unlock. And it just seems a shame to be, oh, I'm at the end of the game nearly. That is one cool Pokemon, that Go Lurk, fair play. This is pretty much the cool level Pokemon in my home. So all these different colours here, very cool, all lit up and here we go, go look there, again, there's a few of them about, oh there's a Natu, Be guarding something there. What you doing, boy? Ah, there's some gashes. <laughs> there's some gashes on the floor. <laughs> Sorry. So there's a hidden one there. A hidden crystal bloom. So you have to move those girls out the way. Ah, oh, there's a Natu fast asleep on his shoulder, like a parrot. Oh, there's a few of them floating about, so look out for him as well. And these little fountain bits. Looks like all of them bits of water float in different colours from that one area. There's an array of every single crystal bloom there, which is quite cool. But it's the one in the middle you need. I wonder why they're all there. Hmm. Interesting. Now he's standing guard there and there is a way, it's like a little puzzle, is to move him out the way because he's blocking something there. Am I going to tell you? No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I think there's another, there's a few other channels that will tell you how to do that but I don't want to give it away I, I really don't want to give too much away I keep saying that but just seems a shame but to be fair I found out by watching the channel because I didn't have a clue it's quite a difficult puzzle here we go Houndoom free it's a gold free star Elder Ghost there it's crap, it's just cut off the corner and it gave me a free star for that. Mad. So land it there. Teeny tiny, so yeah, one star. 
let's go again get them closer to us i think not too fast 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 asleep hey fast asleep still a griff there is a just a one star it's quite close on it behinium 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 one star behinium i don't know go lurk is a brand newy one star again not bad but, and the ancient ruins there i think there's two photos of ancient ruins and am i wrong am i right am i wrong let's go in again and this time we are armed with lumina orbs and this is the last bit of the video sadly but again just to reiterate have fun go and play it and just try different ways of chucking apples and chucking orbs and stuff like that as you have been doing through each level you have to go in multiple times and retake photos again get them nearer but once you've done all this you've got the advantage of that you can move the cart faster so you're gonna get closer pictures and stuff like that so that's that's the advantage of that and being able to retake and stuff like that so I'm going for it then with the orbs aren't I not much is happening in mine ah there's a new boy there and he's gonna follow you so I'd suggest keeping the reverse on because there he is there's a shadow there so there might be an opportunity there to get a better picture I think the stuff oh isn't he fierce very cool very cool I think the backstory to this game is very good I prefer it to the Pokemon Sword and Shield story this is a very cool story that runs through but what I've done through the whole of this series is I've chopped that out because it's if you play it you'll appreciate it a lot more and obviously me not showing the last Lumina Pokemon you'll appreciate that a lot more playing the game as well so I hope anyway I hope no one's angry with me <laughs> whatever the car is gonna go down here and you're gonna be able to get closer to those crystal blooms just like that and wow it does some kind of twirly bit there with the blue liquid so basically with the different color things that you've seen from up there you're gonna go around each one but each one of them is gonna be a bit more difficult So it looks like he's standing in the way he's gonna move out the way if you throw different bits at him maybe play the flute at him as well it might move him so we've got the purple one there ah there's a hidden crystal bloom there tucked away purple's lit up now we've got the pink one the purple one the green one next and you've got those leafy girls leafy boys in the way so you've got to tell them to get out the way and there you go there's your crystal bloom there that's the green one lit up the orange one next where is it? I 
There we go. So you got the collection of every single crystal bloom there. So our one is in the middle there. That one's lit up, which is interesting. Is that going to light up that area? I'm not sure. Hmm. And then you got this chap in the way here. So scan that in. It's got a little bit of a clue for you. But he is standing in the way of something. And it's quite hard to get him to shift out the way. Get out the way. come to the end there so I'm just gonna have a little assessment of the photos and at the end of that I'm gonna leave you with my favorite favorite clip do you remember the graveler that looked like E.T. I shall leave you with him <laughs> Elder Goss there lovely Houndoom let's leave you with these photos here see if there's any improvements and we'll sign out with E.T. looking very much like a Pokemon <laughs> or the other way around. See you again soon with a new series. Bye for now. Oh. You're right. And Banjo. Be. And Bob. Good. And